of the families of the two teens killed in the plane crash have arrived in the United States. Also in San Francisco on Tuesday, the CEO of Asiana Airlines as well. CCTV's Yukenda McGehee has more. You see people, they should need the immediate attention because they're there, uh, alive and walking around. For the passenger and crew of crashed Asiana Airlines Flight 214, there are countless stories of survival. Holding the things so tight and bang, the, the impact was so powerful. If I did not have that one more you know, strap going around my chest, I'll probably hit the, uh, the ceiling of the plane. Numerous tales of tragedy <laughs> and unparalleled acts of heroism. Like this Asiana flight attendant, surrounded by smoke, then flames, she risked her life to save injured and trapped airline passengers. And would you believe she did it all while nursing a broken tailbone? My brain was very clear, and I planned what I had to do immediately. Actually, I was not thinking, but acting. As soon as I heard emergency escape, I conducted the evacuation. When there was a fire, I was just thinking to extinguish it, not thinking that it's too dangerous or what am I going to do. Now that the shock is wearing off, the reality is setting in as the focus shifts to the families. The parents of the two teenage girls killed in this crash arrived in San Francisco last night to claim their children's bodies. Our prayers are with the families of the two young girls, Yu Meng Yanan and Wang Lenjia, uh, who lost their lives on Saturday. Indeed, we know that no words can console their loved ones. But the president of Asiana Airlines hopes his words may offer some solace in the face of adversity. Today, he arrives in San Francisco to apologize to victims' families. But if yesterday's apology in Korea is any indication, he may be in for quite a bit of turbulence. Yekenda McGahee, CCTV, San Francisco.